digging out of soil and rock, and movement and transfer of the material to another part of a site are amongst the most fundamental of civil engineering construction activities, and these happen wherever a development takes place. Conventional cut and fill operations, the methods, and processes of excavation to form temporary and permanent cuttings and trenches, controlled placement of material for structural backfill, formation of embankments, and preparation of foundations for all forms of structure is a highly skilled geotechnical design practice. The most important earthworks process and activity involves layered excavations of soils in cuttings and transportation of the excavated soil to neighboring zones or areas where formation of embankments or structural backfill are required. Deposition in the fill areas builds up by depositing the material and using bulldozers to place it in layers which are compacted by rollers. This earthworks procedure continues until the ground elevation in cuttings is reduced, and embankments are built, to the specified formation level or the design finish grade level. Generally, it is preferred to achieve a cut fill balance and have short haul distances to minimize transport of earthworks materials along the site between cuttings where they are excavated and embankments where they are placed. The rolling topography of the site sometimes complicates achievement of an earthworks quantities balance, and long hauls of material may be required. Excavations in cutting include the removal of the top layers of material which are likely to be unsuitable for use in embankments and transport of this material to stockpiles to be reused for landscaping at a later date. The lower layers of the cuttings are expected to comprise or consist of material which is more suitable and acceptable for use in embankments, and this will be transported and compacted. Some excavations may encounter rock, and this is harder to excavate. In some instances, rock may be ripped using bulldozer with blade attached to the rear. Other options include using a hydraulic breaker, also known as a rock hammer or pecker, or blasting. Blasting is highly likely to be used for the removal of large quantities of rock to expedite schedule, or for harder rock which cannot be ripped. To carry out cut and fill operations safely and economically requires an evaluation of the engineering geology of the site, accurate descriptions of the nature and properties of the materials involved, assessment of earthwork quantities, settlement calculations for structures and foundations, and the design of appropriate construction methods. Once construction is finished, the long-term behavior of excavations, that is cuttings, and structures, that is embankments, backfill, requires inspection and monitoring for signs of distress to ensure remedial measures can be designed and effected should failures occurs. <laughs>